Road to GH will reveal the stories that will unfold on Friday, October 4, 2024. First, the return of Lucas on October 4 on General Hospital is sure to leave fans excited. This time, actor Van Hansis will take on the role of Lucas, an unexpected but promising change. With this return, Lucas is expected to bring a fresh wave of drama to Port Charles, where complex relationships and mysteries continue to unfold. What fans are most eager to see is Lucas's first action upon his return. The biggest prediction is that he will save Lulu from the difficult situation she's facing. Lulu, a beloved and important character, has endured many hardships, and Lucas's return may be the key to resolving the challenges she is facing. Lucas's return is bound to stir things up in Port Charles, not only in Lulu's life, but also affecting other characters. Fans won't be able to stay calm as tensions rise and the suspense grows when Lucas re-enters their lives, carrying secrets and bold actions that promise to change everything. Second, Sonny sat next to Carly, his face calm and composed as he tried to reassure her that everything would soon be all right. Carly, however, was entirely uninterested in his comfort. Her mind was consumed with worries about the case involving John's death, and nothing could ease the fear tormenting her thoughts. Carly knew that Sonny had been paying attention to Natalia, and this only deepened her anxiety. She feared that this concern could lead to everything they had been trying to conceal being exposed. Sonny's preoccupation with Natalia not only made Carly uneasy, but also gave her the feeling that their efforts to protect their secret were slowly unraveling. She didn't want to hear another word from Sonny. Uh, as in her mind, every word only worsened the situation. Third, Trina and Portia were extremely worried about Heather's condition. A terrifying figure with a past full of dark deeds. Heather had always been a threat to them, but recent developments had gone beyond both of their expectations. Portia, always cautious and reserved, feared that Heather could cause unpredictable dangers. A heated argument broke out between the two, but they needed to calm down and think more carefully. Their exchange of words ignited tensions that had been building for some time, making the atmosphere even more suffocating. In a fit of anger and frustration, Trina decided to turn to Ava, the one person she trusted for advice. Ava, with her experience and sharp intuition, listened to Trina calmly. She understood the difficult situation Trina was facing, and with thoughtful yet sincere advice, Ava helped Trina reflect on the matter. Trina began to realize that sometimes her mother's approach wasn't entirely wrong, and she needed to think more thoroughly before making decisions. After learning about Trina and Portia's concerns over Heather's situation, Ava decided not only to listen to Trina, but also to intervene in the situation, causing tension between the mother and daughter. Ava fully grasped the complex circumstances they were facing and, with her delicate understanding, sought out Portia to offer advice that she believed would be helpful. Next, Gio felt a surge of anger when he learned that Trina had gone to talk to Ava. He didn't know exactly what Trina had discussed with Ava, but just hearing Ava's name was enough to upset him. In Gio's eyes, Ava had always been a bad influence, with questionable actions and a controversial past and he couldn't accept Trina, someone he cared about deeply, being close to someone like her. Gio tried to keep his emotions in check, but he couldn't hide his disappointment and concern. He thought Ava was exploiting Trina's vulnerability to manipulate her, and this only made him more frustrated. In Gio's mind, Trina needed to stay away from Ava, but he didn't know how to convey this without hurting her. The conflicting emotions within Gio left him anxious, angry, and uncertain of how to protect Trina from Ava's influence, even though in reality, Trina was only seeking someone to listen and offer comfort during her difficult time. Finally, Brooklyn and Chase stood together, their eyes filled with worry as they watched Violet becoming increasingly withdrawn and closed off. The change in her behavior was undeniable. Violet missed her father, and Finn's absence from her life had left a void that couldn't be filled. In recent days, Violet was no longer the joyful child she once was. Instead, she had become quiet, reserved, and often sought to avoid others. The news that Finn wouldn't be returning to Port Charles as planned only heightened Brooklyn and Chase's concerns. They knew that Finn's continued absence would only make Violet's situation worse. Both were unsure of how to help Violet through this difficult time, 
but they understood that nothing could replace Finn's presence in her life. Their worry stemmed not only from Violet's current state, but also from the fear that, without timely intervention, she might retreat further into her own world, distancing herself from those she needed the most. 